It's Saturday, July 24th, and I'd like to share a little project that I've been working on with you, along with some friends. Uh, we're going to have the official unveiling of this project a little bit later today. A 70-year-old lawnmower that still runs. It's a 1952 sit and cut. It was manufactured by Air Caps. I had never heard of this particular brand. As you can see, it's a rope start pull. We have a choke lever here. Petcock will turn the fuel on. There's two shift levers, one for uh, to put it in forward and neutral. It's, it only runs forward. And the other lever is to, to put the blade in, in operation. It's rear driven, the rear wheel, chain drive. The transmission is right below the lever. There's two belts coming off the motor. It's a Clinton motor, I'm guessing three horsepower. The throttle cable is on top. We have the two belts. One drives the blade, the other one goes to the transmission. And the blade is actually two sickle blades on the end of that blade. Now I have a picture of Mrs. Prawl cutting grass on this machine back in July of 1953. I understand she really enjoyed cutting grass. Um, we will be cutting grass here in a minute. We're going to get it started and we'll give a demo of cutting grass with a 70 year old lawnmower. A sit and cut. Here's Amy cutting grass on the 1952 sit and cut loan more. Lever. You got to go slow, yeah, and then the gas trowel up on top. Here's Mr. Nolan Guidry cutting grass on the 1952 sit and cut lawnmower. Mr. Nolan will actually be celebrating his 90th birthday this September 2021, and he wanted me to make a video of him cutting grass on this lawnmower. So it's done. Don't go through that ditch, no. Don't go through the ditch, okay? Yeah, go ahead, give it a little more gas. A little more gas. Give it the throttle, open the throttle.
Okay, so now it was my turn. So here's, I'm cutting grass with the 1952 set and cut. Lawn mower. It's uh, almost 70 years old. Nice machine. Actually, it's almost as old as me. I'll be 77 in October. I brought the machine into my shop on July night, uh, started the cleaning, uh, degreasing, de-oiling, uh, had several Zerk fittings on this machine, and I greased everything once I completed it, but here were the sickle blades. Uh, I used a product called Rust Cure to spray and take care of some of the rusty spots on the machine. But once I got it moving, everything was moving good. The transmission has the two chains. Uh, it had uh, actually four belts. Two belts came from the motor, to the one to the blade, one to the transmission. And there were additional two belts on top of the transmission. That completed the cleaning part. And then I was ready to uh, bring it to uh, Jim Zerang uh, to have him work on the Clinton motor. On July 19th, I brought the uh, machine, the 1952 sit and cut to a friend of mine, Jim Zerang, and he was going to work on the, on the Clinton motor. He changed the oil in the machine. Uh, he took the carburetor apart, cleaned it. Everything was good, he told me, inside the carburetor, so he put it back together. Uh, he took the spark plug and sandblasted it and put it back in. Uh, he checked the fire coming out of the magneto, and it threw about a two-inch blue spark, so he didn't have to do anything to it. Uh, he put some 91 uh, non-ethanol fuel in the tank, and then was able to get the machine started. Uh, I think it took about three cranks, he said. How's it going, Ron? Well, you had you changed the travel field with yeah. two. I think it's worth a million dollars, man. grandson Andrew, I wanted to do a test run before we had the official uh, revealing of the machine on, on Saturday the 24th. So I had Andrew just do a little bit of cutting right behind my shop just to make sure the blade works and everything works fine on the machine. And it worked great. I mean, it really cuts grass very nicely. So here's the machine in 1953 with Mrs. Prawl cutting grass in July of 1953 and in July of 2021 July 24th here's Mr. Nolan Guidry cutting grass on the 1952 sit and cut lawnmower.